let's take a look at the next example. Now we learned about a tangent vector. We're interested in finding the equation of the tangent line to any curve. In this case, we have a helix. X is two cosine t, y is sine t, and z is equal to t at the point zero one and pi over two. Very good. The very first thing we need to do is to find the derivative of our helix. Note that these functions, they are all differentiable. R of t can be written as two cosine t, y is sine t, and z is t. At different t values, you get different position. All components, are differentiable. So our prime of t becomes, well, here you have negative two, sine t, here we have cosine t, and the last component of the derivative of this function is one. Very good. Now, what is our prime of this specific t value? How do I find this t? To find t, we're going to go back to the position function and use the values. Since x is equal to 0, and here you have 2 cosine of t equals to x, you can just set 2 cosine t equal to 0 and find the t value. Or you might say that, well, I have easier function, for example, my z is equal to t. So I can just quickly set z equals to pi over 2 and t becomes pi over 2. So again, since your y is equal to 1, you can set the sine of t equals to 1 and solve for t. Or finally, the easiest one is since z is equal to pi over 2, and your z is equal to t, t is pi over 2. And it satisfies all of these equations above. If we plug in t equals to pi over 2 here, sine of pi over 2 is 1. Or if I plug this guy here, cosine of pi over 2, well, this is just equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0, and it satisfies all of these equations. So this specific t is pi over 2. We found it here. R prime of pi over 2 is equal to negative 2 sine of pi over 2 comma cosine of pi over 2 and the last component is just 1. So what does it give me? Recall that the parametric equations of the line was defined as x equal to x sub 0 plus 80 y was y sub 0 plus bt and z is equal to z sub 0 plus ct. Well, here you have your direction vector, and the point that you're going to use is 0, 1, and pi over 2. So this equation becomes x equal to x sub 0 is 0 plus negative 2 times t, and we're going to simplify that. y is equal to 1 plus 0 t and z is equal to, here you have pi over 2, plus 1 t, or x is negative 2 t, y is 1, and z is pi over 2, plus t. We found the parametric equations for the tangent line to the helix given to us here, and this is our final answer.